Hey, my name is Jessica Azzarello, and I am here to talk to you today about one of my favorite therapies from Titan Medical Center, the injectable biotin. Over the years, I had struggled with different aspects of health. I ended up losing a lot of my hair, so I started taking the injectable biotin about six months ago, and my hair is very incredible. It's actually grown back, and it's grown longer, but also thicker. So I was actually born with very thin hair. So when I started losing my hair, you could notice when I would pull my hair back, I would have like bald spots. And I would even have people make fun of me about it. And it was just like really hard for me. So I'm very, very thrilled with the progress so far. I basically, um, I receive my therapies every single month. And every morning what I do is I use a very tiny needle and I just inject it. And you don't even feel anything, but you know, I used to have to wash my hair every single day, and if I didn't, it was really stringy, it looked really gross. I actually can go a couple days and not wash my hair, and my hair actually is full and voluminous and curly, and you know, so I highly recommend it if you're looking to improve your hair. You definitely can't go wrong with Titan Medical Center injectable biotin. What's going on everybody? How you doing? I'm Antonio Howard. Proud to be with Titan Medical Center. Listen, before joining Titan, I felt okay, but I wasn't feeling perfect. Right now, joining a team that's enabling me to, you know, live a healthier lifestyle and, and it's actually showing within my results and I love it. I decided to become a patient of Titan due to the fact that, you know, I've seen them around a lot. I've talked to some friends about them and my friends gave me nothing but good, great reviews about the product. So why not try something that I knew uh, had great reviews? So I'm so happy that I decided to do it and I can honestly tell you that it's like the best thing I've done in a while. As of right now, the Titan therapies that I use is IGF-1 LR3 and I also use the Hercules Potion and I love it a lot. They both work amazing. Taking the IGF-1 really is allowing me to not retain body fat. You know, as I'm getting older, that's kind of an issue that I've been having. So taking that IGF-1 has really been keeping that fat down off me in accordance with everything else that I'm doing as far as my diet and my cardio and weight training. I remember my first medical appointment here at Titan. It was amazing due to the fact that they really show that they care about their patients. Customer service goes a long way and Titan does it to the top tier. Great place, great service. As a Titan patient, I'm very happy. I love the product. Titan has done a lot for the community as well, as far as their sponsorships, as far as treating their people, uh, uh, treating their people above and beyond, taking it to the next level, and treating you as a family. I love being a part of this family, and I'm gonna continue to be a part of this family. Thank you guys for everything that you guys are doing. Thank you so much. What's up guys, John here with my beautiful wife Sharice. Hi. We got our Titan and Titanettes out here, Big Drew's out here, Eva's out here, Destiny, Angelina, and we are representing Titan Medical Center to a full effect. Best with speed 2022, it's been an amazing day. It's been a little chilly here or there, but you know what, we bring the heat all the time. A lot of beautiful rides, a lot of beautiful people, spreading the word of Titan Medical Center, we're loving it out here. You guys have not checked out a festival speed you gotta check it out next year because this is always an upscale and awesome event so guys we love you stay tuned and we'll show you more of festival of speed and all of our other great events Mwah! what up guys john out here tight medical center representing at festival of speed 2022 
It's a packed event like usual. And it's not as warm as it usually is out in Florida, okay? So we're, we're experiencing that, you know, the 50s and the 60s weather here in January. Obviously, we brought out the tight medical center rides. We've got a couple. So we've got the Lambo here, the Huracan, all dressed up, ready to go, tight medical center. We've got the C8 Corvette behind you guys. It's a beautiful ride. I always get asked, you know, John, which car do you like the best, right? Which one's the fastest? And obviously, the Lamborghini's got a bigger engine in it. It's faster. But comfortability-wise, I would say the Corvette really does beat it out. You can actually lay back in this car. It's got some cup holders in it, which the Lamborghini, missing that out and a lot more storage space so i really like driving both of them obviously the american muscle here they, they, they take the cake but there ain't nothing like a lamborghini right ain't nothing like it so i'm out here just representing we got all these people out here and they're doing their thing man so it's a beautiful event you get to see all these beautiful cars all these cool people and just excited about what's going on out here so if you guys have not checked out this little speed you guys need to check it out next year it's in tampa orlando and they even got more events coming down florida line it's gonna be awesome. So guys, make sure you guys are checking out the video. Keep in contact with Titan Medical Center so we can show you guys all the cool events that we do. Not just a medical clinic, but we're a lifestyle brand all the way through and through, guys. So come out and enjoy. And if you guys aren't here, don't worry. We're gonna show you all this in video and you guys are gonna love it. See you guys. So let's get to the Great Gatsby Award. So what's your name? Uh, my name is Rob Joyner. Okay. Live here in St. Petersburg, actually. Not more than about 10 minutes away, actually. Okay. So, yes, it's a 1931 Lincoln. It's uh, one of three left in the world. It's only 72 made, actually. It uh, sold for, amazingly enough, back in 1931 for $5,600, which was a heck of a lot of money back in those days. 5600 so. bucks. Yeah, yeah, crazy, right? Jeez, I don't know if you can find anything for $5,600 nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a uh, wine burgundy color, and um, it's it's one of very few, like I said, surviving examples left of this car. So it's a lot of fun. It came from Canton, Ohio. It was restored there 28 years ago, and then went to the Duesenberg Museum, which where my grandfather and I actually found it there at the Duesenberg Museum in Auburn, Indiana. That's super cool. So this goes way back in your family. Yes, yes, it's been handed down from my grandfather to myself, and we kind of got into cars and fell in love with cars and. So that's been, hopefully it'll become a generational thing. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I love the car. It's absolutely beautiful. Guys, you guys got to come check it out. I mean, you're not going to see many of these out here. So come check out this great Gatsby Award winner. And thank you so much for always joining Festival of Speed and all of your support. Well, thank you very much and look forward to it again. So we have a Lamborghini and this is the Lamborghini Road Warrior. So tell me, what year is this? Uh, 2004. 2004, and you said it was a special edition to some sort? Uh, no, it's a gated Murcielago. Gotcha, gotcha. I heard that uh, when you start this bad boy up, it sounds nasty. Yes, it's straight pipes. <laughs> so, give me, go for it. Let's see what's up. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was super cool. Yeah, no problem. All right, guys. I mean, that deserves a super award right there. Best of show contemporary. Well, you got to talk to me about this here. Go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. My name is Jim Parrott, and this is a 2011 SLS AMG. I bought it new, so it's 12 years old now, and I'll keep it forever. So, so let me ask you, um, what made you want to buy this particular vehicle? Any like history behind it, or any favorite types of things? Well, sure. I've always liked the uh, SLS 300 from the 50s, and so this is a follow-on to that. And uh, so, uh, I saw it as a concept car on online, and I thought, I've got to have that. So I uh, went to the Mercedes dealer and wanted to put a deposit on it, and they didn't even know what it was yet. And so uh, I waited two years for it to come out, and uh, now I have it. You are quite the patient individual, I would say. Two years for me, would I don't know if I could wait that long. I, it, was, it was totally worth waiting for. <laughs> What's your favorite part about the car? She's very good. It's, it's everything. It's um, sculpture, it's artwork, it's history, it's engineering. 
it's uh, romanticism, it's travel, it's speed, it's it just is the sum of everything. Well, you know what? I can tell that you are very, very you feel very powerful about your vehicle. So, you know, congratulations on your award. Thank you so much for coming out to Festivals of Speed. Without you guys, there wouldn't be a Festival of Speed. So thank you. Well, thank you very much. You guys put on a great show. It's wonderful. That's it, guys. This is a wrap. Festival of Speed 2022 was a major success, not only for Type Medical Center, but for Festival of Speed. This was the biggest event they've had this year and last year and the year before. So huge shout out to all the people that helped put on this great event. Big shout out to all my Titan and Titanettes that came out here, represented all the support from all the fans and all the people. We love you guys. And big shout out to my wife, Sharice, for emceeing this event and interviewing like a true professional, what she is. So guys, I love you all. Make sure you guys tune in for the video. It'll be coming to social media very soon. You'll get to see all the behind the scenes and all these great, cool cars that maybe you missed today. So love you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next Titan event. Later. At Titan Medical Center, we believe in health and wellness for body and mind. Our wide range of therapies have been helping people live stronger, healthier, and happier while performing at optimal levels. For more information, call us or text us at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're gonna cover every week. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back for another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and Sharice just giving you guys some good tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully take your relationship to a next level, a better level, and hopefully a bright future for you guys. So if it's a girl listening or a guy listening, this can help you both, right? And hopefully it'll help your relationship. If you guys aren't in a relationship, then hopefully it'll help you in your next one that's gonna be coming, hopefully very soon in the future. So you guys can make the right decisions to make that a successful one, right? Of course. So uh, with every good relationship, comes anniversaries. Anniversaries come in times and people celebrate anniversaries at different times, right? Usually people celebrate one year anniversaries. I know people that celebrate them every month. Mm -hmm. So it's really up to you and how you want to do this. Now remember, this is supposed to be a special day. So the more you do it, the more unspecial it might be. So make sure you guys are setting these dates and times. Um, something that's going to be really special to both of you guys and you guys agree that this is the date you guys are going to do it on too, right? Because this will be your date going forth and it should mean something to you. So when you guys set this date, it should be at you know a moment in the relationship where it's hit us like I don't know like a, a height or you usually know, it's got to be like a special date like where you guys actually made the connection. 100%. Yeah, like you know like we're gonna like go steady or we're gonna go out or you're gonna be my boyfriend and girlfriend right? Yeah, hundred percent. That's the beginning of it, right? Maybe not the day you met. I mean, it could be I guess. Sometimes I mean most people do do it like from the day they met. I just you know from me and John personally met. we met and it wasn't like that. Wow. So some people even, you know, when so they're not like boyfriend and girlfriend, yeah. you guys get married. Obviously, it's going to be the year, your anniversary, the year, the day you got married. I yeah. think that's when it changes. Just make sure that you guys have that date right. And both of you guys <laughs> have the right date. <laughs> you know, because if one of you guys have the 15th and the other one has the 17th, yeah. that's not going to be good. If you're the guy, if you do it a couple of days extra early, I guess that wouldn't be a bad thing. Either. Or if you're the guy, you do it a couple of days late, you are not going to be in a good You're going to be in trouble. <laughs> you're going to be in trouble for that one, for you're sure. You're going to have this whole thing set up and you're going to be like, Oh, <laughs> but your present's still at the store. Yeah. So, uh, or your dinner is still I in the kitchen. Like two days, two days from now, right? No, that's not going to work with the ladies for sure. They're going to yeah. be upset, and you're going to be in the doghouse. You're going to have to do even extra work mm -hmm. that you probably don't even want to do, but you should be doing <laughs> anyway, okay? So, uh, you know, for me and Sharice, we're lucky because this is the 14th year anniversary for us. Mm -hmm. So, we're going on 15 here in the next year. 
But uh, 14 years down, gosh, it, it flies by, I think, even quicker every year. I was literally looking at photos of us, and then we look so little, <laughs> like this big, right? I'm like, wow, we've been together forever, you yeah, know? Yeah. I always say, and I'll say it in this episode too, that me and John spend every single moment of the day together. Even like when we're together, sometimes we're kind of not together because we're working. Mm -hmm. So it's really not together, but we're still like, I can see him and he can see me. And we might smile and that's about as far as we're getting. But anyways, we spend every moment of every day together, yeah. literally, right? Yeah. So I personally, I wonder if I should put a poll on here, right? I personally think that we should double the time, right? Because I mean, think about it, right? Everybody has their year anniversary, but they only get to see each other like after five o'clock when they get out of work, right? Uh -huh. So technically, sleep and everything, man, you get to see each other for like 12 hours, right? Total, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Me and John, we get 24 hours, right? So technically, it's really been 28 years. <laughs> 28 years of my life gone in 14. You see how that goes, guys. <laughs> Aren't we supposed to be extending life at Titan Medical? <laughs> Try to extend it, but gosh, you never know. Guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, it is something. You know, not a lot of couples can do what me and Sharice do. I mean, that's a rarity. You know, yeah. where people can spend that much time together without getting on each other's nerves. <laughs> But it does happen. So some people need those breathers, and that's okay, right? That's yeah. the common relationship out Normal, there. Man. People got to work, right? So at that point, there's got to be some separation, and you guys are doing what's best for the family all in together. Um, so that's another thing. That's why these days are so special, too, as well, and you should make them even more special because, you know, these days are, are, are something that's a remembrance of your relationship, of how it got started, the flames, what brought you guys together, the love, the romance. Everything should all be encompassed in this day, and that's what it should reflect, right? And that's what you reflect in love and, and gifts, if, if you possibly give them roses or whatever it may be. So for this year, you know, me and Sharice, we like to usually do something for our anniversary. We like to go out of town, mm -hmm. um, get away from it all, try to de-stress to a certain extent, and just enjoy each other. Um, so this trip, we went to the DR, went to the Dominican Republic, which was awesome. We had a great time, stayed at Eden Rock, Capacana. Mm -hmm. um, it's our second time staying there. We stayed there for one yeah, of like our anniversaries there. like six years ago. Yeah, that's cool. um, But, you know, the property, it's progressed. It's got bigger. It's got newer things. So we actually got to stay in a, a little bit better accommodations, I guess, of, of where it was uh, you know, previously six years ago. And uh, usually me and Sharice go by ourselves, but you know, these last couple of years, whatever, there's been a soft spot to bring our son. Um, you know, he's 12 years old now. We kind of want to show him, you know, what, what else is out there, kind of enjoy some of the things that we're doing too as well. Um, plus, you know, for me, it encompasses our family, right? And so it was like a family trip, but yeah. still anniversary trip kind of thing. Yeah, and, and some of you guys need to get alone without the kids too so i understand how that goes so yeah. you know don't be in, entailed to bring your your child with you your kids with you <laughs> leave them at home yeah enjoy definitely each other, leave them right? home most of them need to stay home anyway most of them need to stay home but you know so we brought them out there but it was it was a great time right i mean and you know we we still worked out there a little bit um you know obviously that never stops but you know we got to enjoy ourselves you know we got to sit out a little bit we got to enjoy the family got to enjoy each other you know some good food some drinks kind of relaxing a little bit recovering from covid uh the second yeah, that was that us. was a little scary that um, sucked but yeah, you know but. we got to at least i guess recover for a couple of days out there in the sun which was pretty nice and we live in florida but it's 10 degrees warmer in the dominican so but the water is 50 degrees colder in the Dominican. <laughs> We're still in the ocean. <laughs> I, I swear, it's like freezing cold. So I'm going, like this high in the water and I'll just stand there and be like, okay, it's this is about as far as I'm going. It's got to be bath water. So, you know, we did the trip and everything like that. It was real nice. You know, um, you know, got to relax. We said some dinners, some, some really cool dinners we did out there. So, you know... Uh, I'll show some video of this in, in, in intertwined in, in the conversation today. I wonder if John will get to show that. So we still went on this anniversary trip, right? Because I like to tell the real life stories. I drop them in every episode. But, you know, we have the little one with us, which is cute, adorable. Okay, let's moving on. <laughs> right? And so John still went out of his way and he surprised me. He never he never really gets to surprise me because I'm always I'm always right up his butt, right? So he can't ever surprise me with anything. But he did. He surprised me in the room, right? With the whole like candles, rose petals, like the whole nine. Now, on the roses on the bed, the the whole the whole kit and caboodle, like I honestly, I think I was extra not expecting something like that because we had our son with us. So it was even more, it was, it was great because number one, he was showing Peter that this is how a man should treat his wife, right? That's right. 
that's that's step number one right so that's that's awesome um number two you still haven't lost your romantic touch after all these years right so that's cool um number three it was just the little third one's a little awkward right so you got the little one he walks in and he's like oh candles and roses oh look at this oh okay i'm gonna go back to my room over here and you guys can have your room and it was like <laughs> this is why people don't take their kids on <laughs> <laughs> But no, seriously, it was it was super super cool. It, the, the tub was filled with bubbles and the whole nine. We don't ever get to do anything like that, yeah. so it was I, I, it was awesome. It was perfect. Literally, so you know, some of the video will show you because I, I did put some clips in here. So um, at that point, it's going to show you guys kind of what I did with the bed, uh, the rose petals on top, the balloon, right, the box of roses out there because they didn't have the <laughs> usual ones I get, Sheree. So I had to find something in the DR that was comparable. Um, and then, you know, rose petals in the bathroom, candles to say I love you on the floor, you know, rose petals in the bath. I had him draw the bath for me, you know, and uh, I, had, I had to time this right, okay? Because <laughs> we're at dinner and we're like... And he's like, he's like, I'm, I'm asking, like, I'm ready to go. Like, yeah. I'm done with my food yeah. and, I, you know, I'm very impatient. Yeah. So and I'm like, where's the bill? I'm like, literally, like, what what, what are we waiting on? Yeah. And I'm he's like, he's like being real cool and chill and I'm like... I'm ready to go. I'm like, I'm, I want to go back to the room. I'm done. Yeah. He's so like being chill. I finally understood when I got back to the room why he was. <laughs> Candles only last so long, guys, right? And the bath's got to stay warm. It's got to stay warm to get it into, you know. Uh, you some know, serious time because gotta make the sure. walk and everything. Yeah, you gotta yeah. Make sure it's on point, you know. And if you need some extra helpers to help you out, that's okay too because you want to make sure it is kind of a surprise or you're doing things right. So if you have to work, you know, ask one of your buddies or one of their friends or whatever to help you out. Make sure the friend is confidential about what they're doing because they don't want them to share it before they get home, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's that is what it is. But it was really, it was really nice. And yeah, you know, cool. I think everybody, you know, whether it's your first anniversary, fourteenth anniversary, or fiftieth anniversary, I think it should be a special day for both of you guys. It's not just for the girl; it mm -hmm. should be for you too. And and having the remembrance of what it is, um, you know, every year too, like Sharice, you know, whether it's these special events and stuff like that, because. Listen, material gifts are, are one thing, right? And like, as you get older, I don't think they need as much. Right. Like, you know, like all this kind of, but the personalized things, <laughs> that's really where it's really, really cool. Um, like, Sharice always does these personalized items for me, you know, whether it's pictures or montages and it has a special saying in it. It's really, really cool. Like, I have these up on my dresser or I have these next to my bed. They all really um, nice. <laughs> yeah, it, it's really, really cool because it remembers every day. When I get, when I wake up and I see these things, you know, it just, it, it focuses me and, and brings me to where I want to be. You know, it's a happy place. Um, and I know what the goal is and my priorities in life and what they are too as well. So it's really, really cool. So stuff like that is what counts. 100%. You know, and spending time with each other is what counts. You know, the material things and the big dinners and all that. Listen, you can do all this stuff at home. You don't have to spend a whole bunch of money to do it. You can make dinner. You can make dinner. There's all kinds of things to do. You like can get the roses. You do them yourself. You can do flowers, whatever it is. You can do it on a budget. So it doesn't take a lot of money to do. It just takes, you know, yourself, um, some motivation and a lot of heart. Put a, just honestly, guys, just put a little thought into it. You know, like I've heard of a recent friend of mine, right, that mm -hmm. had an anniversary and there wasn't much thought put behind the anniversary or the dinner or anything about the anniversary. And yeah. then, like, you know, it's like 8 or 9 o'clock and the anniversary has went by. And it was kind of like, oh, that's it? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, listen, I'm not telling you to put your expectations all the way up here. However, I am telling you to, you know, do something that comes from the heart. Yeah. Yeah, I think, it, I think it'll show through and they'll remember it. That That's one thing, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, oh my God, this is what you did on this anniversary. And of course, take some pictures and stuff like that because that's nice to remember these things. You know, if you post them on Facebook every year, you'll get to see some of these yeah, things. Yeah, they pop up. <laughs> it's really cool, you know, to see some of these things from the memories from the past. So, I mean, I like that aspect of Facebook. Um, but you can have it for yourself, too, as well. And, and you can always show them or you can do, you know, a picture slideshow or whatever it is. And just sit back and look through some of these older pictures, especially as your relationship matures and grows. You know, so first year, yeah, you've had some great memories. You've done some great things. You have this. But when you get to year 14, you can look back on year one. I'm like, oh, my God, look at what we look like. Whoa. Right? Look what we remember did. Remember you used to wear that shirt? <laughs> yeah, remember all these things. Like, and it brings back good laughs and good memories and, and good bonding experiences, too, as well. So it just brings you guys closer, and that's what it's all about. That's what our show is all about. It's really help couples out there or relationships get closer so you guys have a, a, a good future together. Um, and just getting all the foundations that, that come with that too. So, yeah, uh, 
you know, happy 14th year anniversary yes. to my beautiful wife again. Yeah, happy and, uh, 14th. Yeah, 14th. I mean, 28th. <laughs> <laughs> Always trying to double up on me, trying to take years from you guys. It's 28. It's 28 <laughs> years. I've earned this 28. Yeah, so she has she has earned it. She's been good. So she definitely she gets rewarded for that for sure every day. I like treats. <laughs> <laughs> so guys oh uh, yeah just remember and listen next week we're gonna talk about Valentine's Day because it's coming up real soon so you guys better get your stuff ready because that is more gears towards girls Valentine's Day I think I guys think, too I think girls look at it more like even when you were in the class when you were a little kid because they probably don't do it now because of COVID but you made the Valentine's <laughs> Day right you gave the Valentine's a special girl or whatever it is you know and now it's guys and girls so at that point hey it is what it is so whatever it is, you know, enjoy. But we're going to give you guys some great tips and tricks of what you guys can do for your loved one. And make sure that you don't schedule your anniversary close to Valentine's Day. Ooh. You know what? Actually make it on Valentine's Day every year or near it, and you guys can celebrate it every year together. And you got the two for one, baby. But get usually, close. Get usually, usually relationships go one way. If you're a bachelor out there, you get rid of them before Valentine's Day so you don't have to do no gifts and all that. It's like from December to like March or May when the sun's going to start coming out, you really don't have to have them. And then like, you know... Uh, Trust me, I know all the tricks and t- uh, tricks and tips for the oh, single yeah. guys out there too. Oh yeah, got all the too. buddies out there doing uh, their thing. <laughs> Dude, I hear all the stories. I live vicariously through my friends. God bless them <laughs> because it's it's a hard world out there if you are dating. God bless you guys if you guys are doing that stuff day to day and you have to go through the tinders and, and the bumbles and, and the, the bumbles and the, and the, the DMs and and, and COVID and, and all the restrictions. You know, before you have to worry about hey, listen, did you get checked for STDs? Night. Do you get checked for STDs and are you COVID positive? And they walk in the door and all of a sudden you have all these rapids lined up, right? <laughs> look, 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 look. <laughs> I got my own rapid test. I'm running right now. Let me swap COVID, me. Let me swap STDs. <laughs> uh, just line them up. <laughs> so, guys, it's been a great Cupid's Corner with you guys. Join us every Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m. with me and Sharice. Guys, check out the website, tightmedicalcenter.com for all the beat enhancers and everything else we can help you guys out with. The YouTube channel will have this show and all the other shows. If you didn't DVR it, do it now. If you didn't, don't worry. Check out YouTube for all the great shows. I'm John. I'm Sharice. We'll see you next week at another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Okay. Bye.